You too, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? A man changes and is upset his wife can't get through it. Let me show you a picture of the man. Ah, this is the guy. This is the man. Okay. Yep. After living full time as a woman for two years and six months more on HRT, there are still times that it's, it hits really hard. I am finding that it is in areas of my gender. I am finding that it is in the areas of my gender that I am unable to explore, that I've been unable to explore. Intimacy, sexuality, and the things like wearing dresses and skirts because my wife can't deal with it. I'm dying to have my breasts touched as a female. But my wife can't bring herself to do it. She is a sworn head cis female. Could, uh, she, what do you mean she's a sworn head cis? You mean she's a heterosexual? You mean she's a female who's not homosexual? If it breaks my heart and I'm, a, and I'm afraid our 39 marriage is a bust. It is a bust. You know what's beautiful? Because when she married you, this was not part of the plan. You know, when people talk about their marriage vows and they talk about for better or for worse, there's also something that people don't talk about when it comes to marriage. If at any point in the marriage you become the person, you become different than the person I married, I'm not talking about if you go to a mental illness or anything like that. Sometimes those things do happen. You may go through some depression spaces, some anxiety, stuff like that. But if you change who you were and decide you want to be a person who wants to be a woman now or a pretend to be a woman or you want to um, be, call yourself trans and you want to have breasts and you want to do all these things, that is not the person I married. Yes, the marriage is a bust at that point. That can be null and voided. Goodbye. The marriage is over. I didn't marry a woman. I didn't marry a man who wants to be a woman. I married a man that I had met 39 years ago, a man who was doing this things, a man that would said they would do this stuff for me. Once you come out of that and you're no longer the person that I married, that's not what I signed up for. It's not like I, if I got married and I find out my wife is a serial killer, I have no obligations to her no more. I did not sign up to be married to a serial killer. That was not something I knew would become a thing. Now, it may have happened over time, but at the same time, you became a serial killer. It's over. I don't have no obligations to you no more. I don't have to be married to that. Same thing for your wife. You, she doesn't have to touch your breasts to get you sexually, get you sexually off. She doesn't have to do these things for you. You decided you wanted to change your life and become a uh, trans woman and then call yourself a woman and then do all these things and expect her to just stick around. It's over. Absolutely over. And it's the same thing we saw what happened with Chris Tyson. Huh? I know some people were not happy with that video. That's cool. And I say some because there's only some that were <laughs> even watched the video because people thought that I was really going after Chris because I was like, you know, he's not a woman. He's not this. He's not that. And I still believe that at the same time, he did ruin a family. We cannot neglect that. That's the problem that we have with this stuff. People will have kids and do all this stuff. And in a second, if this let's put a say, if in any case, if I was a man, I had kids with my wife and I decided, you know what? I think. I no longer believe that I can be the father of this family. I'm going to go be a professional basket weaver and I leave my family and I'm gone now. How is that any different? Right. If I have a wife and kids and I decided now I'm going to be a woman less and I'm just going to leave my kids and they're gone. Right. I still have kids and I still had a wife, but I did break up a marriage. I did break up a family. Now my kids are going to grow up different. My kids are going to grow up really with a single mother. OK. And then their father is a man pretending to be a woman. That stuff matters. And I understand that there's stuff that comes with that, but nobody cares about any of that today. People only care about getting their wants met. We see this happen in marriages that have nothing to do with being trans. People would just be like, uh, I was no longer in love with him. I just, I was making more money and I wanted to travel the world and he still wanted to be a bus mechanic. And so you broke up the whole family for that because you wanted to travel more? Like nobody wants to sacrifice anything. You hear this all the time in a marriage. I just wanted to be happy. What am I supposed to do? Stay in the marriage and be miserable? If nothing is going that wild, you're just a little unhappy with the way things are going at the current moment. Yes. You can sacrifice a little happiness. It'll be okay. Happiness is not everything. That's not what a marriage is about. I don't get married to be happy. I get married and have a duty to build a family. That was the whole point of me getting married. I didn't get married to just be happy all the time. I already knew that was dead. I watched my parents married for all the years. Do I think every second of every day they were happy? No. I've seen marriages all throughout my life. Thank God I did. I didn't see a whole lot of broken families growing up. 
but I did see certain pe- people in my family. God bless them. But they decided they wanted to stay single. They decided they wanted to do this because they wanted to do all this stuff by themselves. And they could, they were bad all by themselves. And look at them alone. It's still alone in their 70s. Alone. Didn't want to build a family. Didn't want to do nothing. That's fine. But they're bitter. I'm not saying you have to build a family. Some people in this world are called to something different. Some people are called to be alone. Some people are called to be single and they can get back to the community and they're never married. They never build a family. A complete life of celibacy. I'm all for that. That is a total good thing. But what ends up happening more and more is people get into marriages. They find out that it's not as easy as they think it is. They get 10 years down the road and go up. Oh, I'm not happy because they watch way too social, too much social media. They watch too many TV shows. They listen to too many women who are single and alone and think that they can have a better life if they're not with their husband. And a man may think the same thing. He can find a better woman. That's not his wife. Social media will get y'all all confused about marriage. That's why marriages used to stay together more often back then, because people didn't have nothing to compare themselves to. They said, oh, this is a good life. It's not that bad. No, they weren't getting beaten. No, women weren't miserable. Everybody was just miserable in their marriages. No, social media has got y'all to believe this false lie that not having a family or breaking up a family means you can be just as successful. No. No, it ain't going to happen. Breaking a family is a serious thing. And people act like breaking up a family is as easy as breaking up with your boyfriend. It is devastating, not only for your children, but for the spouses involved. This man wants his wife to touch his his breast. Like that's normal. You have ruined your family, sir. You have. But that's because social media told you. It's okay to do all that. Just live your best life and live your truth. And now another family's broken. It's sad to see. Don't let it happen to you. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Goodbye.